Hello, I'm David Ledbetter here with an Odyssey roll call. We're here at our Odyssey putting studio at Champions Gate in Orlando, Florida, where we have a great selection of putters uh, in the Odyssey putting studio for people to try and get fitted. So today, uh, I really want to talk to you about gripping the putter, okay? It's, a, it's an interesting subject because there's a lot of different grips out now, let's face it. I mean, for years, people have been trying to figure out how to get that little ball into the hole. And uh, it, it's, the grip is something which is very personal. I'm going to show you the standard grip today because, as say, there are, as we know, there's claws and there's cross-handed and there's cooches and there's, you name it, there's a, a lot of different ways to sort of get the job done. But essentially, you really want to get a, a grip which allows you to keep your hands and wrists out of the stroke where everything can work together as a unit. If you start to get wristy and handsy with it, uh, it's extremely difficult to be consistent because the less wrist you have, the more together you are. In other words, the more the triangle with the hands, the arms, the shoulders, and the chest all work together, the more likely you are to putt well. So this is what I'd suggest you do. You know, normally with a, a normal grip, we'd have the, the club placed in the fingers and you have your hands set and it's, it's, it's sort of a, a feeling of being able to hinge and cock the wrist. Well here we want to sort of nullify that. So you want to hold the putter out in front of you like so and you want to grip it up right up in the palm. You can see just below my thumb here and my left hand actually points around to the left. Now I'm going to put my right hand on in a matching position, okay, so in fact they're opposite you want, it could be called matching, but they're really opposite. The left hand sits to the left, the right hand sits to the right. And I like to put the finger down the back. This is, this is the, the reverse overlap. It's, it's, it's been around for years, this reverse overlap. Normally, okay, we normally grip it this way. And some players do grip it that way, but I would, to keep your hands solid and keep the wrists out of it, put your finger down the back. You can maybe put it here, you can put it there. But what this does, you can see it gets my whole unit working together. I don't feel any wrist in this because I'm really locking it into my palms. So then when I set up to it, all I've got to do now is swing my shoulders and my chest and the putter just responds to that movement. If I grip it sort of normally, you know, the tendency is even if I try to move my shoulders, I have this sort of action going and that's no way to putt. If you look at all the great putters, they all are very, very solid here. There might be a little breakdown after that, but for the most part, at impact, your left wrist wants to be really firm. So if you can, especially with your left hand for right-handed golfers, grip it right up there in the palm, hold it out in front of you like this so you can really feel the weight of the putter and simply then put it down in front of you and just rock your shoulders. If you can get this grip, this is a really good way of doing it. The reason why people putt cross-hand is because, once again, it keeps the wrist out of it. So, Yes, you can experiment, but try this grip first, this reverse overlap in the palms, I think you'll find it'll really help your putting.